Welcome to Electron Online. In the previous video we dealt with the cycloid, here we're going to talk a little bit about the hypocycloid. The difference is that here with the hypocycloid we have a small circle or a small wheel that's rotating inside a big wheel. The small r represents the radius of the small circle, the big r represents the radius of the big circle. And if we call the ratio big R over small r equal to k, in this case, in our example, it's 4 to 1. You can see that if you take a look at the diameter here, that is half the diameter of the radius, or one quarter the full diameter of the full circle here. We'll show you some examples where k is a different value, because you'll get different kinds of figures there. But for the hypocycloid, the ratio is 4 to 1. Now the equations, the parametric equations that define the position of the edge of the small circle, if it starts here at the x-axis, on the x-axis to the far right, so that would be 0, or actually the point right here starts at r, comma, 0. So these are the coordinates of the point in the circle. And then as the wheel begins to rotate inside the big circle right here, then you can see that this point will slowly move along this line, move along this line. You can see that this point that used to be right here is now located over there. So how do you find the x and y positions of that point anywhere along this curve defined as a hypocycloid? Well, these are the parametric equations, the x position and the y position as a function of t. t in this case would be the angle. So the angle starts at 0, and as it rotates, the angle then increases. And you can see that we go from 0 to here, and then it just goes all the way around the circle like that. And so the x position and the y position are defined as big R minus small r times the cosine of t for the x, the sine of t for y, plus or minus r cosine or r sine of r minus r over r times t. So the way we can go from this set of equations to this set of equations is to factor out a small r. When we do that, we put the small r in front, and if we divide this by r, we get 1. Divide this by r, we, the small r, we get big R over small r, which is k. So then we get r times k minus 1. Again, k is simply the ratio of the large radius divided by the small radius times the cosine of the parametric variable t. In this case, what happens here is that we actually divide the small r into the numerator. So on the left side, we get big R over small r, which is k. On the right side, we get small r divided by small r, which is 1. So instead of writing it in terms of the large radius and the small radius, we can write in terms of k and the small radius, where k simply represents how many times the radius of the small circle fits into the radius of the big circle. And you see that if you then plug in various values for t, and you go all the way around, notice that when we go from 0 to 2 pi, they'll move the edge of the small circle from here to there. Again, from 0 to 2 pi, we go over here, 0 to 2 pi, we go over here, and 0 to 2 pi, we go over here. So basically, to go all the way around the big circle, the small circle needs to rotate four times, which in other words, the parameter variable, the, ver the parametric variable t, goes from 0 to 8 pi in this case, to make it all the way around the big circle. And that's what we know to be the hypocycloid.